Hi guys! Here in Denmark we have a saying that uh, directly translated into English turns into only a fool don't fear the sea and uh, that makes a lot of sense. We also have a slight spin-off of that saying which is kun en tåbe frygter ikke haven which translated to English is only a fool don't fear the garden and uh, <laughs> oh boy is that true also. For the past two days my lovely parents have lent a hand here in my garden trying to get it under control. It's been a lot of hard work, but at least I'm that tiny step closer to being ready to get my house appraised. There are, however, still a few things I need to take care of. I need to clear out a lot of old stuff in my tiny workshop. This is it. There's a lot of useless stuff in here. There's also a few good items, but uh, there's a lot of useless stuff. This is the old icebox from my boat. I have no idea why I've saved that, but it's right there. There is another storage area down here, which um, I cleared out yesterday. But of course that means that there is a lot of junk that needs to go to the uh, recycling center or the dump. I also need to paint the fence that's behind me and um, this over here could also probably use a few coats of paint at least. I also need some more wood chips to put under this tree. But the only really heavy lifting that's left here in the garden is uh, right behind me. This is where I kept Oblix during the refit and uh, I supported her cradle with some uh, wooden beams. And of course before putting those down I leveled the surface. As a result there is a lot of indentations here in the uh, in the lawn and I need to take care of that before I can sow some uh, new grass. <laughs> of course it's nice whenever the going gets tough to take a bit of a break and uh, play with Jökul instead. Sleep? Dekti! Some of you guys might wonder why I've gone through all of the trouble to dig up this area. When I needed to level the surface for Oblix Cradle I used some sand and um, by mixing the sand in with the dirt I don't need to discard of the sand. In fact the guy in the garden center said I'm doing the grass a favor by mixing in the sand with the dirt. But uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know a heck of a lot more about how to take care of a lawn than, than I do. Oh, good thing that's done. Sadly I won't be able to sow the grass until it's a little bit warmer outside, but still, the hard part is done. Like I mentioned, there are still a few jobs I need to take care of in the garden, but mostly, it's done. Now the entire backyard is sort of a big mess. I haven't done much of anything there for the uh, seven or eight years I've owned the house, but I don't really think now is the time to start. It has been a lot of hard work trying to fix up the house, throwing out all of my useless old junk and also trying to sort out the garden. But at least now, I'm really close to being ready to getting my house appraised and uh, as most of you guys probably know if I'm able to sell this house it'll be a huge step in the right direction towards achieving the goals I've mentioned in the video about my hopes and dreams. Now before ending this video there are a few things I want to show you. This is the first of those items. This is the isotherm kit I'll be using to convert my icebox into a fridge aboard Obelix. This will be a huge improvement aboard and uh, sometime later this spring I should have a video showing how I installed this. 
I've also been playing around with different printing techniques for getting my logo on t-shirts. So far, I really like this one. It's called flex printing and um, it's got really nice sharp edges and it's supposed to be quite durable also. I'm actually thinking about selling t-shirts like this one, but um, yeah, I'm not quite ready to do that yet and uh, like I mentioned, it's just something I'm playing around with. Although you haven't seen any videos yet, I have been busy working on the chain logger too. This is the mini bulkhead for the chain logger. I thought it might be kind of confusing to have two tracks, sort of having the chain logger and the clothing logger running side by side. So I decided to just hold off a little bit on publishing the uh, chain logger videos because it's going to be a little while until I can actually complete the chain logger because it's still a little bit cold outside to be a proxy. Okay guys, that's it for this video. See you! Jökull and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.